Welcome back, everybody, to NGS Headline. Hello, everyone. It's 9 p.m., so let's get started with NGS Headline. I'm the host of this program, Hero Arai, the official NGS navigator. Once again, I'm bringing you the latest info on NGS. It's been a while, everyone. I hope you have all been well. The cold doesn't seem to let up these days, so take care and make sure to stay warm. Now, 2022 marks the 10th anniversary for PSO2. The whole development team is fully dedicated to making NGS even more enjoyable for all of our players out there. Once again, this program is to tell players about the present and future of Sega's online RPG, PSO2 New Genesis, or NGS for short, with info about current operations, future updates, campaigns, and more. This is a pre-recorded broadcast. If you would like to watch it in Japanese, it'll be up on the Japanese NGS YouTube channel, so check it out. Without further ado, let's move on to the updates you've all been waiting for. NGS Hot Information I'd like to talk about some of the updates coming in February. Please have a look at this video. Of course! We're dying to hear you sing! And this time, you even have an orchestra accompanying you. Everyone will put on their best show today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming. May it kindle your creativity and ignite a musical renaissance. Let us Shine your spirit in 
So, what did you think? Now, let me go through the updates with these slides. Starting with this one. By completing the main tasks in Chapter 2 of the story, as well as the side tasks from Nadira's Ladies in Waiting, Rizwana and Munira, you will be able to play a new side story task. The story begins with Nadira's invitation to a concert in Retum City. Then, on the same day after the update, players will be able to enjoy spontaneous live concerts in Retum City. An announcement will be made 15 minutes before the concert begins, so please make sure to get to Retum City on time. And for those that can't make it to Retum City, don't worry, the concert will also be broadcasted live on the giant monitor in Central City. What's more, at the end of the concert, those in both cities will get a concert effect with bonuses like an increased drop rate and more. Afterwards, a pre-announced urgent quest will be available, so this is the chance to take on a challenging quest with some awesome boosts. The next thing is that the level cap will be raised to level 40. Level up your character for even more leveled up gameplay. Along with the level cap increase, a rank 3 sector with level 35 enemies will be added to Mount Magnus. In the new high rank sector, the probability of chaos trials, in which two trials occur simultaneously, will increase. Additionally, the Transorv destruction trials that occur in Retum will also occur there, and you will be able to do chaos trials that are combined boss trials something we've never had before. When you complete a Chaos Trial, the PSE gauge is guaranteed to go up one level. What's more, you'll be able to limit break and raise the enhancement level up to 50. Raising the enhancement level to plus 50 unlocks a fifth augment slot, so you can make your equipment much stronger than before. However, to reach plus 50 in limit breaking, you need a special material called Arms Refiner. If you collect the fragments that drop from enemies in the new high rank sectors, you can trade them for Arms Refiner at the item lab. Arms Refiner will also be dropped directly by the new enemy type Megalodix, which also appears in the new high rank sectors. Megalodix will also drop more Meseta than regular enemies, so be sure to hunt them down. The next point I want to bring to your attention is the addition of a rank 2 sector with level 44 enemies to Battle Dia, Purple Alio Devastators. One of the highlights of the rank 2 sector for this Battle Dia is that a past AC scratch ticket count bonus prize, Dash Fairy, will drop in a different color than the original. Also, the three Alio Urgent quests will also get a rank 2 sector with level 40 enemies. You can also get material fragments for limit breaking weapons to level plus 50, and photon scales from these as well so don't miss these quests. Adding to this, until now, to accept urgent quests, you had to travel to the region the urgent quests was occurring in, but now, you will be able to accept quests across regions. Furthermore, the Gigantics in Elio and Retum will be up to level 44. Level 44 Gigantics will also have their drop rate for Gigas-type augments raised from 2 to 3. With players getting strong and stronger, so will Gigantics, and of course, the reward for defeating them will get even better too, so be sure to take on the challenge. Besides the content geared towards high-level players that I just introduced, 
We also have a variety of new elements in store for everyone in the February 9th update. Now, as always, we're releasing Season 5 of the Mission Pass. The mag form Willow, coming in this season, will have a wispy spirit-like appearance. You can change its color by using Change Mag Color, so try a few out and find your favorite. Another perk of this update is that you will be able to use music discs with your mag. Change the background music to match your adventures with this jukebox feature. The songs you have registered in your personal quarters in PSO2 will continue to be available to you as well. For more info on the MAG Jukebox, be sure to check out the recently posted announcement on the official site. We're also releasing a party bonus feature, which will boost EXP, Meseta received, and the rare drop rate when you party up with other players. The boost effect increases according to the number of people in the party. For example, if there are four players, the effect goes up to a whopping 10%, so be sure to party on with your friends. The ARCS ID feature is coming too, which you can use to show off what kind of ARCS you are to other players. You can create your own original title by combining up to three title names obtained by completing title tasks. The title you choose can be displayed above your character's head. You can also add your own comments, symbol art, or stamps. There are still limitations to the customization, but there are more features planned for the future, so keep an eye out. Moving to the next point, NEX Rare Drop Rate plus 25% will be added to the ACSG Scratch Ticket Item Recycle. These can be used in conjunction with other Rare Drop Boosters, so make sure you use these if you are looking to get rare items. We're also adding the option to enable NVIDIA DLSS on the PC version and AMD FSR 1.0 on the PC and Xbox One versions. By enabling these features, you can improve the graphics and performance capabilities. Please keep in mind that, depending on your PC specs, you may not be able to use these functions. Next, I would like to introduce a new AC Scratch Ticket. This sweet Scratch Ticket has romantic frilly ribbons, maid and butler uniforms, and other Valentine's Day themed outfits and accessories. The motion changes include a wild, beastly dash, plus an emote that pairs well with the maid and butler uniforms. And that's a wrap for all that's coming in the February 9th update. Now, let's talk about what's coming starting February 16th. Please have a look at this video.
Let's return to the slides. Next up is content planned for February 16th. The SG Scratch Ticket lineup will be updated and include items to dress up as the songstress Nadira, cast parts and accessories for Jalil and Mosin, weapon camo, and more. Please be aware that along with the update to the SG Scratch Ticket lineup, the count bonus and stage bonuses will be reset. The count bonus this time will have a boosted drop rate for the avatar items for Nadira, weapon camo, and more. Following Mount Magnus, Banford Laboratory Ruins will also get a new rank 3 sector with level 35 enemies. Similar to the high rank sector on Mount Magnus, the Chaos Trial occurrence rate will be increased. Next up, we'll finally have a chance to take on Dark Falls in the Urgent Quest. Dark Falls is at level 40, so level up and see if you can win. There are a lot of titles you can get from fighting Dark Falls. So challenge yourself and try to collect them all. The Synquem series weapons dropped by Dark Falls are different from any weapon you've encountered before. To unlock their potential, you'll need a large amount of photon scales. Photon scales are a highly valuable material that you can obtain in the Retum region. As I mentioned earlier, you'll soon also be able to get them in the high rank sectors of Alio's urgent quests. In order to get the amount you need, be sure to take on Alio's urgent quests. The Synquem series is on par performance-wise with the Relic series that released in December. The weapons in the series are relatively easy to obtain, but require a lot of materials to reach their full potential. The new Synquem weapons will also drop in the new high-rank sectors in Elio. Next up is the content coming February 22nd. Sci-fi style military uniforms, cast parts, Japanese made uniforms, and many more cool and cute outfits will be available for you to enjoy. Please note that because of the size of the new cast arm parts, when you hold a weapon, some weapon categories will be displayed in a special way, as if equipped on the outside of the hand. Rezel Forest will also get a new Rank 2 sector with level 35 enemies. As with the other high rank sectors, there will be an increased chance of chaos trials occurring. 
The high difficulty tasks from the NPC Ronaldine will also be updated to go with the addition of the new high rank sector. To everyone who has not yet completed the current tasks, please be aware that they will no longer be available afterwards. So far, we've covered the updates coming in February, but let's talk a bit about the Revival Scratch tickets coming on March 2nd. First, we put together cast parts from PSO2 into two Revival AC Scratch tickets, one for each type. You can mix and match them in a variety of combinations, so check them out. Next, we have a special Revival AC Scratch ticket featuring only PSO2 spec accessories. This lineup includes popular and nostalgic accessories from the past. The prizes in this Revival Scratch ticket that couldn't be sold in the PSO2 personal shop in the past also cannot be sold in the NGS personal shop, so please keep that in mind. However, you can still exchange these items in the NGS item recycle, so don't worry. That's all for today's update information. Next up is this segment. NGS Operation Report in this segment, NGS Operation Report, I, Hero Arise, select some of your feedback and questions for the dev and live ops teams and bring you their answers. Here's the first question. In December, there was an announcement that it would be difficult to release cast parts more often because of the low ratio of players using them. However, in the six months following the launch of NGS and into December, there were only two new cast parts released in NGS specs, so I believe it's not a matter of usage ratio. And here is the answer I received in response to this comment. As you pointed out, during the first six months after NGS's launch, the release of new cast parts fell below their usage ratio. The reason for this was that our development system for NGS spec cast parts, which are more difficult to make, was not yet sufficiently developed. However, now that said system is finally in place, we should be able to release the proper volume of cast parts according to their usage ratio and player demand. Therefore, we're expecting more cast parts to be released in 2022 than last year. When we previously shared our plans, we said that the releases would remain at the same frequency based on the release schedule for 2022 that was already set in stone by the dev team. This led to a misunderstanding that the frequency of releases up until last December would be the standard. We apologize for worrying you. That was their answer. I see that some new cast parts were released in January, and more new cast parts were announced today in the February update information. However, when I asked about it previously, I was told that there are no plans to release any in March other than the announced re-release of PSO2 cast parts, so it looks like there won't be releases every month. They also said that they plan to release NGS versions of popular parts from PSO2 starting in April. In any case, as the dev team said, it seems like there will be more cast part releases than last year, so please look forward to them. Let's move on to the next one. Please release a revival collection of avatar items previously released in PSO2 for new players who started with NGS. Here is their answer. In response to player requests, we are planning to release more Revival Scratch tickets containing PSO2 spec items in the future. That was their answer. The previously mentioned Revival Scratch ticket release scheduled for March 2nd is part of our initiatives that reflect this plan. On to the next one. The release of the Relic series weapons was a surprise because there was no announcement ahead of time and they are quite strong. Are there plans to release weapons more powerful than Relic in the near future? 
Here is their answer. There are no plans to release weapons significantly more powerful than Relic in the near future. The Synchrom series that drops from Dark Falls has a slightly higher potency, but there are differences in their potential effects, so their performances are almost the same. That was their answer. In recent updates, the Relic series has had the lowest drop rate of weapons, which makes it difficult to get, so it will likely remain the most valuable series for now. On to the next one. It feels like the class level cap is increasing too soon. Will it continue like this in the future? Here is the answer I received. There are no plans to change the current schedule of increasing the level cap to 60 by June as written in the roadmap. However, we do plan to slow down the pace of level cap increases after June. That was their answer. When NGS launched, the level cap started at 20 and wasn't raised for half a year. They said this was because they wanted players to enjoy trying multiple classes. However, they found that there weren't many players using three or more classes. PSO2 also launched with a level cap at 40, so they are now consciously raising it more frequently. However, please rest assured, this pace isn't permanent. Please increase Meseta drops from enemies. The Meseta boost feels less effective if the original amount dropped is small. I have a response. We have received many similar comments and requests and are planning to increase the Meseta drops from enhanced enemies, starting with the February 9th update. And that's what they said. Since increasing the amount that drops for all enemies would likely cause extreme inflation, they made the decision to address it with specific enemies. As I mentioned earlier in the February update information, following the same policy, Megalodix will also drop an increased amount of Meseta, so we hope that enemies in the new high rank sectors will drop enough Meseta for players to feel the effect of Meseta boosts. That's all for the Q&A today. Moving forward, I will continue to select and bring some of your questions and feedback to the dev and live ops teams and share their answers with you. Please also share your thoughts about this show and the game with the hashtag NGSHeadline on places like Twitter. Moving on to the next segment. NGS Satellite, Satellite Information. Information. Now, let's talk about some non-update related information for NGS. I think you'll be able to enjoy the game even more after seeing this. First up, let's talk about this. First, the four highly popular Fantasy Star Online albums, previously only available via download, are now available for streaming around the world. We also plan on releasing other albums at the end of every month. There will be more and more PSO2 music available for download and streaming in the future, so please look forward to them. The Ultra PSO2 Day, held once a year in February, will be rebranded this year as Ultra PSO2 Triple Burst, with even more power-ups than before. In addition to doubling the amount of boosts and gifts compared to a normal PSO2 day, this year the boosts will last for three whole days. Be sure to log in and enjoy NGS to the fullest during the Ultra PSO2 Day Triple Burst starting February 1st. Starting February 9th, we will be holding a campaign to help you increase your battle power in preparation for the battle with Dark Faults. The limited time tasks and login bonus rewards will include N augmentation success rate plus 10%, N enhancement success rate plus 20%, and much more to help strengthen your equipment. 
Dark False is coming on February 16th and will attack in a pre-announced urgent quest at a set time following March 2nd. Take advantage of this campaign to boost your battle power and get ready for battle. The Purchase Premium Set campaign starts February 9th, where you can get your hands on the new accessory Rappy Hair Ornament, so check it out. We're also planning to hold the World Trials Stellar Grace Recovery Operation, starting February 23rd. Be sure to join this campaign to get plenty of Star Gems and special scratch tickets. There will also be a special campaign to celebrate the new Mag Jukebox feature. Everyone who logs in during the campaign period will receive the Dive Into the World music disc as a gift. This is the instrumental version of the opening song for NGS. In NGS, you'll be able to play music from the music discs you've registered in your mag throughout the open field. Test it out and make your adventures even more fun with your mag's latest feature. That is all for this installment of NGS Headline. What did you think of the first NGS headline of 2022? We want to continue improving NGS and this broadcast, so we'd appreciate it if you would please share your thoughts and support using the hashtag NGS Headline. The next NGS Headline will be on Tuesday, March 1st. We'll mainly be focusing on the updates in March, so you don't want to miss it. Last but not least, please like and subscribe. Now then, Arcs, I'll see you in the next NGS headline. Thanks for watching here on Tuesday night. I'll see you on next NGS headline. Bye bye.